Hey YouTube, Cal gonna prep here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a muzzle brake that doesn't have any wrench flats on it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I finally got all my parts here. I'm getting ready to start my AR9 build, and uh, the first thing I got to do is replace the muzzle device. Now, the reason I have to do that is because I live in California, and in order to stay compliant with all the gun laws in California and still have an AR with a normal magazine release, um, I have to build what's called a quote unquote featureless rifle. And this is a flash hider, and a flash hider is evil, apparently, or so uh, the government tells me. And a, I cannot have a flash hider on my rifle and still have what's called a featureless rifle so i have to replace it with something like this now this is just a, a, a muzzle brake i picked this one up off of ebay it was like 13 bucks and i bought it just so i can get the gun built i have no idea how well this is going to work um i i really i'm not going to try and make a recommendation as to whether or not you should go out and buy this uh uh, at least not yet until I actually fire the gun and test it. But um, I just I bought it to throw it on the rifle so that way I can get it built and go test some other stuff about this AR9 build. Um, that I'll be doing another video in the future. But the purpose of this video um, isn't so much to replace how to pull the A2 flash hider off. I've already done a video on that, but I'll do it again. But more importantly, how do I install a muzzle brake like this? And if you'll notice... This muzzle brake is completely smooth. It's, there's no wrench flats. There's nowhere for me to put a wrench on this brake um, to actually torque it and time it. Uh, because since this is a brake, uh, this does have to go on this barrel in a very uh, specific um, position. Otherwise, the muzzle blast will be all out of whack and, and uh, it'll kind of be counterproductive. It won't do its job. So um, that's the whole purpose of the video. I'm going to show you how I install a muzzle brake um, like this because there are a few of them out there. Most of them have flats, but you know if you're going to go cheap or you find one that you really like that doesn't have the flats on it, um, this, uh, this video will help you out. All right, so to take off the um, A2 flash hider, all you need is an armorer's wrench. And... And an armor's wrench, you've got all these little cutouts and stuff like that, um, various sizes. And this big one is actually the correct size. It'll fit right there on this uh, A2 flash hider. If I can put it in the right position. There we go. And uh, that is designed specifically to install and remove uh, this, this flash hider. So um, I'm just going to take this uh, wrench. And I'm going to try and pop this off by hand, just like that. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort. And then I'm just going to unscrew it like so until it falls off. And we're going to take our crush washer off as well, and we're going to throw that off to the side. All right, next step, we are going to take some sort of uh, grease, or um, I like to use uh, anises. If you're the uh, kind of guy who likes to work on his cars, um, or gal, I guess. Um, I just have some, some anises laying around that uh, you would use for spark plugs. And uh, you don't need a whole lot, just pretty thin coat. And the whole point of this is just to, um, as time goes on, if you uh, ever want to or need to replace the muzzle device, um, that way it won't uh, seize to the barrel. And it'll come off a lot easier in the future. All right, so after you've put the anises on, you're going to want to put the uh, crush washer, your new crush washer, not the old one. Um, and you're going to put that on to where the um, small side, or the, uh, I guess, yeah, the small side um, is facing towards the barrel shoulder, um, like so. And then you're going to take your uh, brake. And we're going to get that started by hand. And there we go. Now I'm actually going to back this up just a little bit. I'm hoping you can see that 
in the uh, with the lighting, but right there, that is the top port, right? So this muzzle brake needs to be completely perfectly centered with this top hole facing up, right? Not down. Otherwise, if it's you know crooked or whatever, the then the muzzle blast will kind of push the barrel around um, as opposed to doing its job. So you want to hand tighten that as far as it'll go. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, torque this down until this port, which is sitting right here, um, it's about like at the two o'clock position right now. You want that all the way over at the uh, at the twelve o'clock. So to do that on a brake with no wrench flats, you're going to take a screwdriver, and this is a number one size screwdriver, um, and you want it to be a smooth um, round. Uh, shaft, right? Not something like this guy here, where it's kind of out of you know it's square, or it's uh, you know got the um, got the corners on it. You want it to be as uh, smooth and round. Now, a, a number one size Phillips, or this is I guess a P1 um, flathead. Uh, so I'm just going to take that in there, feed it through the holes on both sides. And I'm just going to start to torque it down. I'm going to go until it gets tight. And then I'm going to back it out. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. And then I'm going to torque it down some more. And if I can get it to the 12 o'clock position like I'm at right now, then I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, depending on your brake, um, your barrel Right, it, you may have to do that step a little bit more, um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to tighten it until it stops, loosen it, tighten it till it stops again, loosen it, tighten it till it stops again, um, and then that way you will uh, make sure that you don't over tighten it because you definitely don't want to go past the point you need to be because then you're going to crush that crush washer too much and when you go to loosen it up, you're not going to have any tension on it. So right now, I am just slightly short. So I'm going to see if I can just torque this down just a little bit more. Go back at it the other way. Right there. And now my brake is set. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> that's it for this video. Short and sweet. Hope you find it helpful. Like I said, the majority of your muzzle brakes out there are going to have some flats on the uh, on the back end of this. Um, but this is a pretty short guy. And uh, like I said, it was 13 bucks on eBay. So we'll see how it performs. Like I said, I just threw it on there. I bought it because it was cheap. Kind of ran out of money. And I just wanted to get the thing built. So we'll see how well it performs. And, and I'll let you know. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button down below. And happy shooting. <laughs>